Hi, this is Teacher Aryan, and on this video, I'll show you how you can use block models or the block method in order to solve word problems. On this video, we'll just discuss two problems, one involving money and the other one that involves age. Okay, so for our first problem, we have Anne's weekly savings is twice as much as Kim's. And then Mike's weekly savings is thrice as much as Kim's. The amount of their saving, savings combined is 2,700 pesos. How much did each of them save? So from reading the problem, well, we can conclude that there are three characters in the problem. The first character or the first person involved is an the next per person is Kim and then the last one is Mike now from the first sentence which is Anne's weekly savings is twice as much as Kim's so kino compare natin ang savings of Anne and Kim and the sentence it says that and savings is twice as much as Kim. So, yung savings down ni Anne is twice as much as Kim. So, for Kim's savings, we can use one block. And then for Anne's savings, since it says that Anne's savings is twice, we can use two blocks to represent Anne's weekly savings. Okay, so that's our first sentence in the problem. Next sentence is Mike's weekly savings is thrice as much as Kim's. So, can compare a little yung savings ni Mike with Kim. We already represented Kim's savings with this one block. So, for Mike's savings, which is thrice or three times as much as Kim's, we can use three of those same blocks. Since it's thrice as much as Kim's, so that's one, two, and then three blocks. Okay. So that's three blocks for Mike's weekly savings. Now that we already represented the savings of the three persons involved in the problem, we can proceed with the next sentence. So the next sentence states that the amount of their savings combined is 2,700 pesos. It's meaning when, the, when you get the total amount of all these blocks, this will be equivalent to 2,700 pesos. Okay. And then we, we are asked about the savings of each of the three persons. So, looking at the illustration, we'll see that 2,700 pesos is the amount of all the six blocks combined. So, six, this six blocks is equal to 2,700 pesos. So, to get the value of each block, we can use division to get the amount represented by each of these blocks. So we'll divide, we'll have um, the amount of each box. So one block. Okay. So to get that one block, we'll have to divide 2,700 into six since there are six blocks and the total is 2,700 pesos. And then dividing, dividing this will have the result that is 4, 000, or 450 pesos. So each of those blocks is equal to 450 pesos. Then we now can answer the question that, the question of how much each of Anne, Mike, and Kim saved during the week. So since 
one block is 450 pesos. And savings, we have two blocks. So that's 450 pesos times two, which is 900 pesos. And the next is Kim's. We already know the value of one block and Kim's savings is represented by just one block. So that's 450 pesos for Kim. And then last is for Mike, which is represented by three blocks. So we'll use the same amount for one block, which is 450 pesos. And then we multiply it by three. And that will give us 1,350 pesos. So for our final answer in this problem, and savings is 900 pesos, Kim's is 450 pesos, and then for Mike, it's 1,350 pesos. Okay, so that's how we use blocks as the models or representative of each element in our problem involving money for this one.